How's it going everyone? And in this video, we're going to be walking through how to create an Amazon machine image in AWS. And so right now we're at the EC2 dashboard and I have a vanilla AL2 Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance running. And so I'm going to connect to this thing just to show that we don't have any packages installed on it. So I'm going to go to connect and we're going to do EC2 instance connect and connect. And so it's going to open up this page right here. And so to prove that this is a vanilla image with no additional packages that I've installed personally onto it, um, I'm going to run this command. So I'm going to do sudo su, just so we're logged in as root user. And next I'm going to run the command yum list installed. And when we run this command, it's going to show us a pretty big laundry list. These are all the packages that are baked into the AL2 image right now uh, that AWS is providing to us. But what isn't here is some package like HTTPD. So um, if I run this command uh, and pipe it to grep and I just search for the pattern uh, HTTPD, we can confirm right now that we don't get any results. If we ran a command like, you know, look at all the Python packages that are on here, we can see that there are a fair number of Python packages built in or baked into the vanilla uh, AL2 AMI. So um, we've proven that this is a vanilla machine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually install HTTPD onto this machine. So I'm going to run this command yum install HTTPD dash Y. And it's going to go through the process of actually uh, installing this package. And so now if I uh, run that grep again, we can see that we have some packages appearing on our machine. And so what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to move back to my other tab. I'm going to go back to this instance. And what I want to do is I want to capture a image of this guy. So I'm going to right click this guy. Um, that's the instance that's running right now. Everything else I have is terminated. And I'm going to go to images and templates. We're going to click on create image. And I'm going to give this thing an image name. So we'll call this VS image one. And uh, I'll just say running or specifically what it has done is it has installed uh, HTTPD and we are going to uh, choose that EBS volume that is attached to our EC2 instance. We're going to click on create image. And so uh, right now in my AMIs, you can see that one that I just uh, initiated to start getting created. So uh, what's happening on the back end is the EBS volume is really just a network drive that's attached to my instance that's running. So if I go to my dashboard right now, we've got this guy. Um, and so that uh, network attached drive is having a snapshot captured of it. And that snapshot is going to include the HTTPD package that we've installed. And so this is now a custom AMI that's being created from that EBS snapshot of this EC2 instance. So that's how we're actually making this thing happen. And the process of AMI creation does take a little bit. Uh, you can see it's in the pending state right now. Um, and so I'm gonna give this thing some moments uh, for it to finish making itself. But um, once it does, uh, we'll be able to click on this guy and then launch instance. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, and we're back. It's been a few minutes. Um, and so now our AMI has been created. And so what we can do is from that AMI's page, we can click on this guy. We're gonna go to launch instance from AMI. And I'm going to stick with all the defaults that we went with. Uh, so we're just going to go to uh, review and launch because I didn't change anything. And we're going to launch this guy. I'm going to again acknowledge that I have in access to that key pair. And we're going to let this new instance launch. And this is that instance ID, just so that we're going to be specific. It ends in 946. So I'm gonna to go to view instances here. We've got this pending instance right there. So I'm gonna give it a moment. And then once this thing gets into that running state, uh, then we're going to remote into that to confirm that our AMI has been correctly applied and we're seeing that package that we've installed, that HTTPD package that didn't exist on the vanilla AL2 uh, image that we originally went with. And so now this thing's running, which is great. I'm gonna click on this guy. I'm going to go to uh, that connect feature, which right now is grayed out. So we might have to give this thing, or maybe you can only do it one session at a time. So I'm gonna close out that tab. 
refresh this guy. Okay, so we're gonna connect. I'm going to sign in as root to see what happens. All right, so we're in as our root user on this brand new EC2 box that was created from our AMI, our EBS snapshot of that other instance. And so if we go and run that command that we ran previously, so if we do yum list installed and then grep httpd, we can see that we do find the additional package already there. So we don't need to go through the pain and suffering of downloading and installing new packages onto our instances now when we speed them up or uh, spin them up. So this will make our auto scaling groups a lot more efficient and agile because they don't need to go through all those bootstrap script operations or you can minimize the number of bootstrap script operations that they need to do. So I'm gonna wrap things up for this video. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.